Hey guys, welcome back to Celebrity Tarot Readings. Why do readings for celebrities and celebrities only? Like, comment, share, and subscribe if you guys are into that. So we are currently in the 31 days of tarot. I believe this is day, this one may be day 18, okay? Because I do know there's a reading I think I'm going to upload prior to this one. But um, thank you to those of you all that have donated uh, in hopes of having me do a reading again for Bad Bunny and Kendall Jenner. Today is that day, okay? I know for some of you all, you probably said, well, damn, I was hoping you would have did this sooner. Be patient with me. Be patient, okay? Because your girl been busy, okay? Uh, doing readings, of course, teaching tarot, life, family, everything. But you know, you guys know I love what I do. So I always got to make sure I make time for my um, subscribers. And I, I definitely appreciate everybody. Those who donate, those who hit the like button, those who share, those who comment. Y'all keep me motivated and you crack me up too at the same time. So thank you all so, so much. Um, of course, we did a reading in the past on these two. If you guys haven't already, definitely check that reading out. Um, Kendall Jenner is a Scorpio. Bad Bunny is a Pisces. So, of course, I'm not surprised these two have linked up. All right. Question is, is this long term? All right. Um, some people don't like this. <laughs> some people don't like Bad Bunny with Kendall. OK, some people may not like Kendall with Bad Bunny, but for some reason they work. And y'all, the reason why I have to do this, <laughs> if I hear this one more time, Latino gang gang. <laughs> All I keep hearing is Latino gang gang. And y'all, I cannot get that out of my head. See, y'all got um, Bad Bunny. My generation, we had Pitbull before he went pop, okay? I used to love me some Pitbull. Que de sabendo pulo. I may not have known what the hell I was saying, but baby, his songs used to be off the chain. Like, damn it, man. D -d 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 damn it, man. But anyways, this is not about me and my nostalgia. This is about Bad Bunny and Kendall. All right, so let's go ahead, throw the energy, and get ready for this reading. Dear God, I ask that you give me the most clear and precise messages when it comes to Bad Bunny and Kendall Jenner. How does Kendall currently feel about Bad Bunny? How does Bad Bunny currently feel about Kendall? Mm. Overall for this reading, okay? Everything you hear is alleged because, of course, we're dealing with public figures. It's important to remember tarot is for entertainment purposes only, all right? We have chariot in the reverse here, okay? So this could indicate that something may have come to a stop or something will come to a stop. Also, this could just indicate that these two are not placing too much um, emphasis on commitment in this relationship, okay? Because... Chariot in the reverse could also indicate that there is no direction, okay? We are just enjoying each other's company. We're enjoying each other's whopping ping ping, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, whatever comes of it may come of it, okay? Because the reason why I'm saying this also, I, I feel like there may be somebody that has a fear of commitment. This is coming through, but that's not what the chariot card is about. The chariot is about a lack of control, okay? The chariot in the reverse at times can also indicate... Um, there being uh, a lack of discipline. It could be a lack of discipline on one or both of their ends. There could be a cancer in between these two, but let's go ahead. This is going to be Kendall's side. This is going to be a Bad Bunny side. Hold on. My cards are like in my way and it's annoying the heck out of me. All right. <clears throat> That's definitely a lack of direction in this connection. Yeah, bottom of the deck, you have the Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords is very painful. Also, I'm getting the same energy that I got from, uh, I think it may have been Diddy's reading, his first reading, where there's a whole bunch of needles inside of the bag, like pin cushions. I'm just saying, every time I do a reading on the Jenners and the Kardashians, if you guys go and check every video I've done on them, I always get the energy of alleged black magic, some type of witchery, some type of witchery or something. Speaking of that, hold on, guys. I think there were a couple of, there they are. There they are. There's a couple of cards I forgot to add to my, um, 
to my card decks. All right, so there we go. All right, so over here on Kendall's side, we have the <laughs> four of pentacles in a reverse. You have the hermit in a reverse. You have the um, six of wands in the upright. You have the nine of swords in the reverse. And then you also have the seven of wands in the reverse, okay? Over here on Bad Bunny side, you have the fool card in the reverse, the magician in the reverse. Oh, Lord. Um, you got the page of cups in the upright. You have the six of cups in the upright. And then you also have the temperance in the reverse. Again, I just feel like this is an energy of just two people just having a good time. You know, if something comes of this, it comes of it. If it doesn't, it doesn't. All right. More people should probably date like this. Okay. If you know that somebody may not be your everything, but they are a damn show a good time. Okay. Four pentacles in the reverse can come out in a reading at times when it talks about there being um, possessiveness. I do feel like with um, Kendall, she may be feeling a little possessive over him. You also have here the hermit in a reverse, okay? Um, she may end up getting rejected. I'm telling y'all, she may end up getting rejected. This may be something that you may end up hearing in the news in regards to him. Or she may feel rejected. Or she may, excuse me, I'm sorry, I cannot talk. She may feel she will get rejected if she tries to pursue more, okay? You know how somebody's acting like they're like, oh, it's cool, it's no problem. Yeah, yeah, we can go ahead and do this casual thing. Kendall, are you agreeing to do this casual thing so that you can look like you're hip and cool and you're not, you acting like you don't really care if you get rejected? See, because this is so this is so stereotypical Scorpio. Like when a Scorpio is low vibing, they will try to test people. They will do all of these different things in order for them to try to see where somebody's head is at. But you're going to end up getting your feelings hurt like that because I feel like with Bad Bunny, he told her exactly who he is from the jump. Look, I ain't no good. <laughs> Why am I here? I'm a dog. I'm a dog. I'm a dog. Roof. All right. <laughs> they, they, I feel like with him, he may have told her, I feel like he's blunt as hell. Yeah, hell yeah. His Mercury is in Aquarius, okay? Her Mercury is in Libra. I'm telling you, you cannot tell me that this man ain't told her from the jump, I'm a dog, I'm a dog, I'm a dog. And she was just like, yeah, it's okay. It's no problem. Like, I'm not really looking for anything serious right now either. So we're both on the same page. Bullshit, Kendall. You will get yourself caught up with somebody who done already told you where you stand and you may end up allegedly getting your feelings hurt. And this is why this Ten of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. Let me tell y'all something. Something, okay, because somebody needs to hear this. If a man or a woman that you meet tell you they are not shit, believe them the first time. At that moment, you have a choice in life, okay? So don't go around here trying to play the victim, Kendall, or anybody else that hears this message. They told you, I'm not looking to settle down with one person. I'm a dog, I'm a dog, I'm a dog. And you go around thinking, oh, I can change this person. I'm going to make them something completely different. No, the hell you are not. He's a grown man. And when he's ready to settle down, guess what? He going to let that woman going to know. The one that he's real about, she's going to know it. He don't need no coercion from you. None whatsoever. No amount of magic or anything else is going to make a man or a woman commit that is not ready for that. OK, they will not tell you this, but I'm going to tell you this. They want love and romance. They just don't want it with you. I know that's hard to hear. But I don't call myself Sag Moon for no reason. Hey, stereotypically Sagittarius, we are blunt as hell. Sagittarius moon energy is blunt as hell. You need to hear the truth. OK. And I am not perfect because I was that fool in the past where somebody is like, I'm a dog, I'm a dog, I'm a dog. And I'm like, oh, but I can tame that dog. <laughs> that damn dog still ain't tamed, okay? Long after I left that shit behind. So just know that you cannot change a person. They have to want to change and believe a person the first time, okay? Because what I'm seeing here, 
This is her putting on a show, telling him that I'm, I'm just here for a good time too. See, six of wands. She likes the attention and everything like that. Or she may want to appear. I get, oh, I'm getting um, hot. Hot. Okay, maybe there is some strong sexual chemistry there, but I'm telling you, Kendall, don't get caught up, girl. He told you who he is. Okay, see, because that nine of swords in a reverse is here as well. All right, this is somebody that's reaching out for hope, hoping somebody will change their mind, hoping somebody will see a situation a little bit more seriously. But I'm not getting that. Okay, seven of wands in a reverse. She may end up being the one rejecting him. Okay, she may end up giving up due to a lack of confidence. Like, damn, like I like this person, but he's not giving me what I want. He already told you he's not going to. Don't fall in love with me. Do not take that as a challenge, people. Do not take that as a challenge. Oh, I can save him. Oh, I can turn that hole into a housewife. <laughs> okay. Get your feelings caught up. All right. Over here on, on Bad Bunny side, I keep wanting to say J Balvin. So I feel like they're either going to go on tour together. They may have came off. Yeah, 1111 is on the clock. They are maybe talking about doing something together, maybe a new song together. Latino gang, gang. I feel like they may be doing a song or something together um, or a, a possible tour. I don't know. But you got Page of Cups, Magician in the Reverse, Fool in the Reverse, Lord have mercy. Six of Cups in the Upright with Temperance in the Reverse. No, ma'am, no, ma'am, no, ma'am, no, ma'am, no, ham. He don't even know who he is from one day to the next. Keep in mind, this is somebody that is Pisces dominant, all right? He has a Pisces sun. He has a Pisces Mars. He has um, a Pisces moon. Woo. He lives in his head a lot. He's just like in his little world, in his little bubble. And baby, he got a Venus and Aries. Lord, have mercy. Talk about a short attention span, short sex span, everything, okay? On top of that, an ascendant in Gemini. Oh, Lord, run, Kendall. Kendall, put on your new balance. <laughs> Kendall, look like she wore new balance. Kendall, put your new. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I'm so silly today. I don't know what's wrong with me. Kendall, put on your new balance, baby. And I want you to run, okay? See, because when a Scorpio is high vibing, they can be very powerful, magnetic, exciting, passionate, and sensitive. But when you all are low vibing, you can be jealous, obsessive, resentful, and compulsive. Okay. And Spirit says, like, that person, let me tell you something. That energy, that birth chart, he gonna bring all that out of you. All them negative traits, obsessive and jealous and compulsive and et cetera, et cetera. He gonna bring all that out of you. You're going to be like, I don't understand what happened. I didn't got caught up with this man. And now he got me out here in these streets like this. Okay. But you have a choice at the end of the day. I feel like I'm having a personal reading with these two. <laughs> Doesn't make him a bad person. I respect somebody that's blunt with me from the beginning. Like, look, I'm a dog. I'm a dog. All right. I can respect that because now it's my decision to get involved with this person. Okay. Now I have the upper hand. Because you don't have to entertain this, okay? Your pride is not is going to make you entertain something like this, okay? Now, when it comes to um, Pisces, when they're low vibing, they can be vague. They can be easily led. Again, living all in their head. Um, but when they are high vibing, they can be compassionate and kind and sensitive. I'm not seeing compassionate, kind and sensitive on this man's side right now. Okay, page of cups in the upright, magician in the reverse, fool in the reverse, temperance in the reverse, and six of cups in the upright. Okay, what I'm getting here, I don't know, he may still be tied to somebody from his past, could be a Gemini, could be an Aquarius, could be a Sagittarius, hell, it could be all three. Okay, but this is somebody that's coming off as reckless. Okay, when you get the fool card in the reverse, keep in mind everything here is a ledge. Okay, but um. Fool in a reverse can in indicate somebody possibly being reckless. Magician in a reverse can also indicate somebody that's cunning, that's deceptive, that's trying to get away with something. And then you also have here this uh, this um, Six of Cups energy, okay? Now, with that Six of Cups energy, this is somebody that likes... 
things that are familiar, okay? The type that will always go back to their past no matter what, even if it's to their own detriment. They will always go to the past or they just will stick to something that has always been working for them. OK, you also have here that page of cups energy. See, this is somebody that may not be as emotionally mature as her. OK, he could also be seeing her as the page of cups. OK, he may feel like she's not mature enough for him or who knows, or he's just attracted to younger women. Man, I've gotten so many messages with them. If you guys are enjoying this reading so far, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. I would really appreciate that. Let's go ahead and get into some more messages. Good God, give me some more messages when it comes to Bad Bunny and Kendall Jenner. Bad Bunny and Kendall Jenner. Oh, somebody into role play. <laughs> okay, then. I ain't mad at you. I ain't mad at you, no. I ain't mad at you. Dear God, give me the most clear and precise messages for Bad Bunny and Kendall Jenner. Bad Bunny and Kendall Jenner. And I'm about to pull more than I need to. All right, something is about to unfold soon in reference to these two. It could be this, this painful ten of swords energy. Somebody may feel backstabbed, hurt, maybe didn't see this shock or pain coming. All right, dear God, give me the most clear and precise messages. Bad Bunny and Kendall Jenner. Bad Bunny and Kendall Jenner. <clears throat> Bad Bunny and Kendall Jenner. Dear God, give me the most clear and precise messages, please. For Bad Bunny and Kendall Jenner. Give me the most clear and precise messages, please. For Bad Bunny and Kendall Jenner. Precise messages, please, for Bad Bunny and Kendall Jenner. Bad Bunny and Kendall Jenner. All right. Very precise messages, please, for Bad Bunny and Kendall Jenner. Okay, let's see what we got. So we already talked about role play. So like I said, somebody could be playing a role or somebody, this could just be something that they're into sexually. Somebody may like to dress up for the other person, do a little cosplay is what I'm hearing. Okay, I'll see y'all. All right, you also have get a second opinion, okay? So somebody may have or will go to the doctor about something that they're concerned about, um, but they're needing to get a second opinion to make sure it is what it actually is, okay? You also have here Pisces, all right? So this could be a reference to Bad Bunny, okay? You may even hear about this in the news. Oh, I just said you may end up hearing about this in the news. And then you have, if you knew the truth, you would leave me, okay? So somebody may... Um, have something that they're keeping from the other. Keep in mind, Magician in the Reverse is on Bad Bunny's side. However, this could be how he sees or will see Kendall. Oh, you got trying to ruin your business. Now, listen, you always hear people talk about the fact that whomever get involved with these Kardashian Jenner clan, there always seems to be some type of bad luck they end up experiencing, okay? And we know that, like, uh, Bad Bunny is a superstar, so I don't know. Spirit said this could have happened in the past, okay? You have, I let my guard down, and then you pulled the rug. There's that Ten of Swords. I let my guard down, and then you pulled the rug. 
See, I was getting kind of used to being someone you love. That's why you shouldn't give your all. Because I'm telling you, when a Scorpio love, they love hard. You cannot give your all to somebody who has shown you who they are. Okay? You got, I feel it coming here. Oh, damn. Dang, spirit. <laughs> Truth hurts. Out. <laughs> Dang. Y'all, shut the freaking door. I'm about to get up out of here. Now, this may involve a woman that's Colombian. And why I just said that with an accent. Oh, this is somebody with a heavy accent. Whoever this is, this is a gorgeous woman and she is feisty. Colombian. Like, literally, that's how I got it. Colombian. As if she's trying to, you know, uh, correct me on how I'm saying it. Colombian. You have under mysterious circumstances here. Mm. Mm -mm. Somebody comment down below because I know there's somebody he's still involved with. I remember some people were giving me all the details on somebody that he was seeing. Is that somebody from um, uh, Bad Bunny's past that's Colombian? A chick that he may have been involved with? A spirit said this will unfold soon. You may hear about a woman. She could be of uh, she could be a Latina. Every time I'm saying it, I'm saying it with an accent. This is like a woman that is a strong accent, and she does not play like at all. And I'm get Latina, like that's how I'm getting it. You got caught up with people you warned me about. <gasps> oh, shut up! You ain't into no. Wait a minute, Bad Bunny? Colombians? Oh, you ain't got no beef with no Colombians, do you? Trying to keep my head above water, y'all. What the hell? Spirit did say this will unfold soon. You got, oh, shut the freaking door. Don't settle for this karmic relationship. Do I need to pull any more cards? Aware of your unique gifts. Let me tell you something. Yeah, Kendall may be somebody that's very intuitive. And she didn't told him about something. Keep in mind, this could be bad bunny. We know stereotypically Pisces energy, Sagittarius energy can be very intuitive. Maybe somebody, look, let me tell you something. Somebody may have told Bad Bunny not to do this, okay? There is somebody that is into, oh, God. Um, there may be somebody he's associated with that could be heavily religious, and they may not have liked this relationship. Somebody didn't, may not have liked Bad Bunny being with her. Caught up with people you warned me about? Don't settle for this karmic relationship? You got, you saw the best in me. Oh, shout out to those that have requested this reading. <gasps> it's time to face the truth. Yeah, something's going to come out in regards to these two. Little blue pill. I'm not getting somebody having a hard time getting up and they need to take pills. I'm getting, you know how you have that decision to make? You got a red pill and you got a blue pill. Somebody's telling somebody they need to choose the blue pill. I'm just saying. You got you can save your tired apologies. Somebody ain't gonna want to hear it. Everywhere I go, I feel you there. And you also have you will meet at a holiday celebration. So somebody may end up meeting somebody important. Could be rubbing shoulders with some uh, somebody important in the industry. I don't feel like this is like a love uh, connection. Okay, so let me see. What will Kendall Jenner learn from this connection? What will Kendall Jenner learn from this connection? I'm going to I'm going to reveal these cards too in a second. What will Bad Bunny learn from this connection? What will Bad Bunny learn from this connection? Mm. Bottom of the deck, you got to keep going. 
It says it may feel as though you've been on this path or a journey for so long that you may even wonder if you're making any progress towards your dreams. This message is a loving reminder for you to keep going. You're almost there. Okay. So there's somebody that could be climbing the ladder to success. When it comes to Kendall, you're being asked to change a part of yourself that no longer feels like the person you've become. Change isn't always easy, but letting go of this outdated part of yourself will allow you to align with your true self. See, she needs to start being her true self. I mentioned earlier in this reading about trying to adapt to somebody else so that you can feel accepted. OK, I'm going to date this person that I know is not fully committed to me and I'm going to pretend like everything is OK because, you know, of that type of energy. But you cannot do that. Let me look at her birth chart further. Kendall has a Scorpio sun, moon and Aries. See that that Mercury and Libra is sticking out like a sore thumb. She's very fiery. She um, she may rush into relationships, get excited about people too quickly. She also has that moon in Aries, but it's also in her ascendant as well. And she has a lot of fire in her chart. Venus and Mars, Sagittarius, okay? So this is somebody that may rush into relationships quickly. She rushed to sex quickly and all of these things. And, she, and it doesn't have a chance for her Scorpio energy to even catch up. Okay, she gets too intense, too serious, allegedly, too intense, too serious, too soon. And then by the time she get through being caught up, that person hasn't even met her halfway there yet. Because see, this man is all in his head. Look at all that Pisces energy along with that air and fire. Hmm. Wow. He's learning that he needs to speak up, okay? It says, what are you not saying that's eating you up inside? He's the one. I had a message that said, if you found out about the real me, you'd be disappointed. You can't keep this in forever. It's time to let it out so that you can move on and be happy. What you need to reveal, bunny? Child, let me, let me be a little bit more nosy. What does bad bunny need to reveal? What does bad bunny need to reveal? Three-way love affair. What I tell you, there may be somebody else, allegedly, that could be involved in this situation. You can only fake it for so long. You got no one can have you but me. Your body knows me best. Just this last time, hidden emotions. All right, deeper feelings than I'm showing and lacking mutual faith and energy, okay? Having a complete lack of trust in somebody maybe because of the fact that you're not trustworthy when it comes to a connection. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Mm -mm. What are some cold, hard truths when it comes to Bad Bunny? Give me some cold, hard truths, please. You can't force it. You may be trying to force this connection. You cannot force it, baby. What are some cold hard truths for Kendall Jenner? She got a feeling she just can't shake. And a tower moment that's coming. And Spirit said, F fear. It will lie to your face. She got a tower moment coming that she needs to, she gonna be, get in a position where she gonna have to figure it out on her own. You need to listen to that little voice inside of you, okay? Figure it out. That little voice in inside of you, you need to listen to it because some ain't clean in the buttermilk. And because you're not listening, there goes that tower moment. It's going to be painful for you, Kendall. Yeah, don't force it. It's dark and you can't see a thing. Get your head out your butt. There are some people that have said this about Bad Bunny, that he's very like self-centered or um, I don't know, something about the way they say he treats his fans and everything. This may have been somebody that's just got it so caught up in his ego, so caught up in being Bad Bunny. You see what I mean? I don't know. I'm just saying. But baby, see what else we got. You got right here waiting. You have a waiting period is at play. So there's a waiting period at play here for the two of them. Somebody could be a narcissist. I'm just saying, magician in the reverse. Somebody could lack ambition. I miss hearing your voice. Again, it could be a possible separation. Somebody could be a healer. I'm telling you, I got messages on Kendall's side that she's just changing. You got to 
Go where it flows, okay? You got Virgo here. There could be a Virgo in the mix. No one compares to you. Gift. See, let me tell you, you got gift here. Look at this. Afraid you'll judge me. Somebody need to be honest about a situation, but they're too afraid to speak up. You got to speak up on your side there, buddy. The calm before the storm. There it is. There's that tower moment again. Okay? It could be avoided. Something, yeah, something significant could happen a year now for one or the both of them. They may be together for another year. All right? You have that look in your eyes. You have Capricorn Moon. Okay, so neither one of them has a Capricorn moon. Okay. Hmm, I see y'all. All right, we got Night Stalker. And then we also have Dale. Spirit said every word is true. Mm -mm. I'll put these cards to the side and get some future messages to close off this reading. Uh, yeah, let me use these. All right, give me some future messages to close off this reading, please, for... Bad Bunny and Kendall Jenner. Future messages to close out this reading for Bad Bunny and Kendall Jenner. I'm telling y'all, there's some secrets. These secrets may end up hurting somebody. These secrets may end up hurting somebody. Bottom of the deck, you got three of pentacles in the reverse. This is third party energy, outside influences of some way, shape, or form. Whether this is a lover, other people telling you, hey, you may want to back away from this situation or something. All right, over here on Kendall's side, you got the sun card, you got the king of cups, you have the queen of pentacles here, you also have the four of pentacles here. Damn, it's too many people involved here. King of Pentacles, excuse me, you got Queen of Pentacles, King of Cups, King of Wands, Four of Pentacles, Sun card. That's too many people here. She may start finding fulfillment in her own life. You know, where you when you get to this stage right here, Sun card with the King of Cups, all right, this is somebody being fulfilled in their own life, okay, pouring into their own cup. All right, balancing their heart and their head, okay? Also, somebody that's getting into an energy of just being focused on their back and their stability, seeing the bigger picture of a situation, okay? But you also have four of pentacles here, but still holding on. I feel like for her, I don't know. I feel like for her, she's going to have some type of growth spiritually, all right? Overall, is the moon card in the reverse? Like I mentioned before, there could be some secrets, Okay, something hidden that may hurt somebody that may end up coming out. This could be a reference to a Pisces. This could also be a reference to a Cancer. There could be some confusion going on. Over here on Bad Bunny side, you got Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. You got Six of Pentacles in the reverse. You also got that Three of Cups in the upright. Page of Cups in the reverse. Ace of Cups in the reverse. See, believe them the first time. That's somebody that's not fully committed. They had to get to the point where they start breadcrumbing, sort of keeping a person on the back burner in order to keep them there due to a feeling of emptiness. Eight of Pentacles in the reverse, six of Pentacles in the reverse as well. No passion or desire to keep investing in something. I mentioned in the very beginning of this reading, somebody could have an issue with commitment. Like they'll get caught up with somebody, but then as soon as they start filling the feels, it's like, oh, hell no. Let me stick to what works, okay? Because you have here also the Three of Cups. This is somebody that, and it's nothing wrong that somebody wants to be the type that likes to spend time with their friends. They're enjoying their success. They're having fun. They want to keep things on a friendly level. I feel like with him, he's going to want to keep things on a friendly level with her, but just not able to give her that commitment she's looking for. But at the end of the day, she has a choice in the matter. You either stay or you go. All right, let me get a final message for Kendall. <clears throat> final message, please, for Kendall Jenner. Because I'm telling you, girl, that's going to always be somebody else. Three of Pentacles in the reverse, three of Cups. Ooh. Yeah, you never needed those wings to fly. That's going to always be somebody. So either you're going to fall in line or you're going to leave this person behind. It's up to her. It says, it seems like you're stuck in a never-ending cycle of self-doubt and self-criticism. 
When you tell yourself you can't do whatever you set your mind to, that's what we refer to as negative self-talk, and it's extremely toxic. Just as we expect others to treat us with kindness, we also need to treat ourselves with kindness. A bird can't fly away if you never let it out of its cage. And there it is, plain and simple. You teach people how to treat you. At the end of the day, the only person you can blame in a situation is yourself. If you guys enjoyed this reading, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Again, I'm the Sagmo Diva. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, all the information on how to book with me will be down below in the description box, pinned in the comments, and across the screen if this reading is edited. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in learning tarot, I teach, teach that as well, and I would love to teach you. Guys, thank you so much. I'll see you all in my next 31 Days of Tarot reading. Bye, guys.